Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am excited today to talk about annual reports. You know, that publication, that thing that you spend all year long trying to pull all of the data together for, and then you finally have to put this piece together that um, has to come with some creativity and, and most people are rushing to get it done um, so that you can get it out to people to culminate the end of the year. So I wanna give you some tips to help you with it this year to make it a little bit more engaging, a little bit more um, exciting for people to dive into. So let's get started. So your annual report is a great tool in your toolkit. It is uh, one of those things that helps you tell your story, not just at the time of the year where you're talking about everything that you've accomplished, but all year long. It's it's kind of that leave behind piece. It can be that kind of signature element of your, of your toolkit. So you want to really think about how you're going to tell your story in this piece. Uh, that's the first tip, that this is not just something that gets pulled together with some letters from leadership or your board chair and a bunch of numbers and pictures and you know hopefully everybody loves it it's really something you need to think about how you're going to tell a story and how when you know from the first page that someone you know opens this up or even the cover to the very end what is it that you want to be able to let people know uh, what is it that you want people to take away from this or to do next so think about this annual report as a way to tell a focused story. Choose a theme, choose something that maybe has happened throughout the whole year that you're really proud of that you can weave into uh, your storytelling. You can weave into how the pictures are set up and the words that you're using or the quotes that you include uh, to really feel like you're taking people on a journey to understand more about what you've accomplished. So one, focus on your story. Two, you need to communicate impact. It's more important today than at any other time where people really expect you to tell them not just what you do, but why and why it's important. What does it do differently in the community? What does it provide to people um, in a way that helps solve a greater issue? So you wanna highlight your accomplishments, but you also wanna do that by building trust in your organization and sharing things about your impact that lets people know who you serve, why you serve them, why it's important. Um, does it impact individuals or businesses or stakeholders or investors? Who are the people that are most impacted um, by you know, what it is that you do or what is the cause you know, that, that has greater um, support and impact in the community because you're a part of it? So use those visuals, uh, I would say include testimonials, include um, pictures, quotes, and definitely stories of um, you know, your clients, uh, people that you serve. The third piece is your financials. Uh, financials can be generally um, fairly dry and a lot of times um, they can be spruced up by just some simple things. So one is use as many visuals as you can in telling your financial story. Uh, most of us relate very quickly to images. Um, as humans, we kind of are attracted to translating what visuals mean faster than words. So being able to translate your financials into images, charts, graphs, some kind of comparison to show, you know, where those things are that you're proud of, maybe where the highs and lows have been, um, maybe some recovery that's taken place um, or anything that's, you know, very big or different that has changed throughout the year. It's a great way to capture that in graphs. The other thing that's important besides making sure that you're transparent with people about what your financials are, because that's just as important. And with people being able to look up public information, um, they'll find out one way or the other. So it's helping people, you know, understand, you know, what it is that you have from a financial perspective and, and leading, guiding them through the story. But part of that story is also translating those numbers. Uh, so if you have, you know, numbers that tell you know, how much support that you've received from multiple revenue sources, that's great. But translate to them, translate that for them into some level of impact. What did that revenue allow you to do? Did it allow you to impact more people? Um, you know, maybe you helped, you know, uh, early education and kids were able to raise their self-esteem because they had services from your organization. And that is something that translated into, you know, their school performance tie together the numbers and the story so that you can help create kind of a linear discussion or um, thought about what it is, how the two correlate. So that's an important piece. The other is a lot of times, especially for nonprofits, we focus on, you know, what percentage of our funds go to direct service. 
Um, make sure that you tell people what that is. Be proud of that. You know, we have organizations that, you know, have 93% of their funds that go to directly to service and programs. Um, they're proud of that number. But so instead of having it in a table or a diagram that's kind of like a small little percentage somewhere, like call it out, blow it up, make it bigger um, and help people understand why it's important. So those are the things that will help explain that financial section a little bit better and help people connect with it. The fourth tip is presentation. So we talked a little bit about visuals, ways that you can incorporate pictures, stories, testimonials, but really think about the presentation. Uh, you know, for years, it was just a printed piece that people received. That has changed over the years. Um, maybe think about doing a digital piece this year. Maybe don't print it. Maybe create a digital piece that can be um, downloaded on your website or emailed out to your, to your list of people. The other thing you might want to consider is a more interactive approach. Uh, some people are kind of trending with video reports. They're doing kind of their whole annual report in the format of a video and they're sending that out and that becomes part of their YouTube channel or their social media strategy, but it's also something that they can use all year long in their toolkit. The other thing that we're seeing is a trend in people using interactive data. So if you're an organization or a company that is very data driven or has a very interactive experience, um, you might want to consider having some type of website page, you know, where people can really play with the information. Uh, they can, you know, tweak it and, and move it and do things with it to kind of investigate more about the impact that you have. Uh, we have an organization that we've, we've worked with um, for a number of years and they very much have, you know, rely on data day to day to really inform their business operations. You can go on their website and you can play with numbers and zero in on, you know, areas of a county and look at needs that are, um, you know, that are, are exhibited across a geographic region. So things like that help make your annual report stand out. Also gives, a, gives people a chance to interact with your information differently and maybe guide them even to your website or another place where you want them then to do something or set up some level of call to action. So I hope those tips helped you. I hope it helps you uh, maybe think about some things a little bit differently to really make your annual report engaging this year. Um, I know a lot has happened in the last 12 months, so I'm sure it's going to be an interesting year for everyone, but telling your story through that is going to be really important to connect with your audience. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. I'm always happy to, to check on those and respond back. Uh, if you'd like some more information on what we do and how we help clients, please visit www.mymabs.com. It's www.mymabs.com. Thanks so much.